How to mount read write an X4 partition on Windows. I want to use X4 on my external HDD, but it must be cross platform. At least Linux, Win7 and AMP, Winx. Unfortunately, I haven't found any proper driver allowing Windows to write to X4. I've found X2 FSD, but it only reads X4. 9. X4 Extent Read Only, No Size Truncating and Expanding Support. More. Supported X3 slash 4 features. Flexible inode size, and GT, 128 bytes, up to block size. Deer underscore index, tree directory index. File type, extra file mode indentry. Large underscore file, and GT, 4 grams file supported. Sparse underscore super. Super block backup in group descriptor. Uninit underscore BG, fast FSCK in group checksum. Extent, reading, writing with no extending. Journal, only support replay for internal journal. Unsupported X3 slash 4 features. Journal, log based operations, external journal. Extent, size truncating and amp, expanding, file deletion, flex underscore bg, first metadata group, ea, extended attributes, equal support. Also, I have found a patch for x4 fsd v0.50, here. New, Matt Wu has made a new release 0.50 at x2fsd.com. X2 FSD 0.48 BB8 signed support for X4 extents and fix for BSOT on Windows 7. I don't think it will be safe. Also I've read some words about writing X4 in Windows could cause data loss on the disk. What is the external HDD used for question mark? First, it will store backups, then family movies, pictures, some music, and etc. It will be connected to a Raspberry Pi, if I finally receive it. It won't really move just when it is used to migrate computer's data to a new one. The largest files it will store are Cloneyzilla disk images, I don't know, if they will be large files or not. Can someone provide a solution for this problem? Or is there no important enough difference between X4 and X3, and I should use X3, if yes, then can I use X2 FSD for that X3 mount? Thank you. I would use NTFS instead. It can easily be read slash written to by Linux, Windows and OS X, among others. Considering the intended use and the fact that it is an external drive, I see no reason why you should go through the hassle that using X4 will be. If this were your primary hard drive, perhaps the advantages of X4, briefly, less drive fragmentation and slightly improved performance, for more information see here would be worthwhile. I doubt you will even notice a difference on an external USB drive. The bottleneck will be the rate of data transfer over the USB cable. For most users, the only obvious benefit of X4 over NTFS is that X4 allows file names with special characters, question mark in AMP, percent, etc. Such file names, however, are both a bad idea and of no particular interest to you. Edit, in answer to B. Roland's question about defragmenting, yes, there are two ways I know of to defragment an NTFS drive under Linux. One is an open source tool called Shake. I haven't used it but it seems to work. The other is simply copying all data from the external drive, deleting everything from the drive and then copying everything back. Finally, since your drive will also be accessed under Windows you can use the Windows defragmenter. I think, however, that you are attaching way too much importance to drive defragmentation. Have a look here for a simple explanation of fragmentation. Briefly, 
A fragmented drive is one where the files on the drive are not stored in contiguous blocks but spread out across the drive. This is usually caused by changing a file size after it has been written. So, say you save a 1 MB file on your drive. You then modify the file and its size goes up to 20 MB. If there is not enough free space at the position where the file was created, this extra data will be written to a different part of the hard drive. In other words, the file will be fragmented. This kind of thing is not likely to occur very often in a drive used for storing backups, then family movies, pictures, some music, and etc. Most of these files will never change in size, and therefore, will never fragment the drive. In addition, even if your drive is fragmented, you don't really care. Fragmentation can be a problem for system drives where you can have many I.O. operations per second. In those cases you can notice a decrease in drive performance. As I said before, on an external drive I don't think you will be able to detect this, even if it does happen. So, in conclusion, you almost certainly will not need to defragment an NTFS formatted external HDD. However, if you really want to, you can do it both in Linux and in Windows. Paragon Software offers X for Windows 2.0 for free for personal use. It allows to read and write X2, X3 and X4 from all Windows OS. This URL. It appears to be somewhat similar to Linux Reader from Disk Internals, that can mount all X, HFS and Raysurfs too, but read only. This URL. If you want to some of the features of X4, you can use them using Tune2Fs to add the features to an X3 partition. The latest X2 FSD release notes should list which features you can enable. You may want to read the Tune2Fs man page, there are some hints on how to handle writing to the file system in the header that can be beneficial to set for a backup drive that requires reliability, or to set to the other extreme for a drive containing non-critical files that require fast access and fast read-write times. You don't really need extended attributes and occults, and depending on your Linux setup they may not even be active to begin with. Incompatibilities between Windows and Linux on permissions makes it ill-advised to use this feature cross-platform, even if supported. If you want to support the channel, please consider subscribing.